Hello everyone and welcome in this another episode of uh, for, uh, we start the uh, installation or you can say fitting of the swing arm and the wheel into the into the main chassis of kinetic honda let me uh, introduce or let me show you the major needful material which we are going to use in this conversion uh, the primitive the prim the primary material i mean the apparatus or you can say the swing arm is the main thing after removing the engine as you can say this is the uh, product of shriyan electric vehicle bhopal and this swing arm is uh, specially made for kinetic honda and as you can see there is a bush foundation bush uh, given already fitted with the swing arm these are the suspension mountings and this uh, strip sort of thing is a brake plate stopper which comes along with the swing arm and this is the most uh, this is the most important part uh, that is 1000 watt 48 volt hub motor we are using this uh, hub motor as a used i mean this is the used motor and the tire is the same which we have uh, removed from the uh, engine engine part of the kinetic honda so this is the 1000 watt vldc hub motor and 48 volt uh, this motor will be fitted with the swing arm and this swing arm will be fitted uh, in the main chassis of the kinetic honda apart from the motor and swing arm the suspension this the cost of the suspension is around uh, 1400 to 1600 depend on the uh, type of suspension the recommended size is uh, 12 inch to 14 inch of suspension this is the length of suspension actually and this is the 1000 watt uh, controller which is sold and marketing marketed by you can say uh, by Shriyan EVs it is a uh, made in India controller so if you are a, a, a little patriotic person you can order uh, uh, made in India product you can keep uh, thing in your mind while choosing this is the serial number of the controller and this is the charger 48 volt 2.8 uh, ampere actually uh, we we will convert this uh, in uh, we will convert this uh, kinetic honda in with vrla battery that means a uh, valve regulated lead acid battery or you can say lead acid battery or you can say dry smf battery just to reduce the initial cost of the conversion okay uh, the cost of this charger is around uh, 1780 rupees and the cost of this controller is around 4300 rupees uh, the cost as I, I have already uh, explained uh, around 1400 to 1600 this the cost of the swing arm is uh, 1750 rupees along with this strip and the motor is uh, if you if you go with the used motor you may get this motor in maybe 5050 500 50, rupees or maybe 600 or maybe six uh 6500 rupees depend on the condition and the uh, state of the motor and if you go with the new motor you can get uh, a new motor of 1000 watt in just 10800 rupees uh the con the controller cost will be additional okay apart from these uh, material there is there will be a requirement of mcb mcb with the fuse this is the 40 ampere fuse and this is the 60 ampere 63 ampere it is so called 60 ampere but usually uh, it get trip uh, more than 40 ampere of load okay so this is the throttle throttle with the uh, with the forward and reverse switch uh, this forward and reverse switch will be work as a fast and the economy mode switch because we are going to use that start button switch as a reverse button and this is the parallel connector which we are going to use these three phase wire uh, in a connection uh, with the motor so this is the parallel connector uh, the cost of throttle is around uh, 450 rupees and if you go with the uh, two button throttle i mean the for, uh, reverse and forward and three speed it will cost around 550 rupees 
the cost of this fuse is also uh, around 180 and the this MCB cost around 180 to 200 rupees depend on the available material and the brand apart from these uh, few uh, more important part are DC to DC converter this is the converter and the cost of this converter is uh, 680 rupees and uh, this is the battery level indicator as you can see it is 48 uh, 24 48 72 volt and if you uh, and if 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 we turn on off this uh, jumper it convert into the 12 36 and 60 volt battery level indicator and the cost of this is around 850 rupees or 860 rupees uh, okay apart from these uh, this is the headlight LED H4 type cost of this LED is uh, 380 rupees and if you go with the mm, night eye LED it will cost around 800 rupees this is the brake and tain light 85 these are the uh, two LED type bulb for uh, dashboard backlight the cost of uh, this is around 45 rupees each these are the indicators four bulb for four indicator two for front and two for rear the cost of this indicator is around 55 each <clears throat> so this is the major material apart from these this 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 material there are few child part is also uh, required say for example lux soldering iron uh, tool kit and uh, you know sometime uh, original switches so I hope you uh, understand the required major required material for kinetic Honda's EV conversion. So let's start fitting this swing arm with this motor into the main fan. So guys as you can see uh, we have almost fitted the wheel with the swing arm and the one thing we can observe here that the moment of the brake lever is little you know a uh, little engage with this extra part of the string arm so uh, we are going to cut this from here so that it can uh, it, it can uh, move smoothly so guys uh, we have uh, fitted the hub motor into this string arm now let's uh, fix this swing arm along with this motor into the main chassis for fixing this uh, usually we need two men but since it's Sunday so nobody came here so we'll try to fix it uh, first we need to align this swing arm into the centermost position of the frame as you can see we did and then we need to little uh, lift up this swing arm to the to this foundation and then after and then after need to insert the shaft into this and make it tight so let's do it so guys after making the center position of the hub motor and the swing arm we need to align this swing arm just like this position and after you know uh, align this position you need to just you know little hammer the either side of the shaft and from here you might face some tight issue maybe uh, the bush came out you just need to fit uh, at its uh, right position and then you need to fix the shaft like this and as this shaft reaches the uh, this end you need uh, we need to uh, little more adjust the position of the tire like this. 
Now with the help of a hammer, we can fix. Now if you see from this side, you can see this bush is also little came out. So it's, you don't need to worry, just fix this back and tight it. So guys, uh, this is how we have fitted the rear swing arm of Kinetic Honda. So this, uh, this is, I believe this is enough for this part. So guys, this is how uh, we have fitted the rear swing arm of Kinetic Honda. If you want to order the same, which we have uh, fixed, maybe you got uh, a motor or uh, the other parts which we have shown in the part in in a part of this video but you can order this swing arm as this swing arm is uh, not available in the market apart except the Shirian EVs manufacturing hub you can use the number given on the top of the screen and talk to the expert they will surely suggest you the best thing for your conversion so I hope you like this video. Please subscribe our channel to support to support our efforts. Thank you very much for watching us. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. See you in the next part. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the show links and enjoy watching.